comes to having a feel for horses, Lindy Birch may be in a class by herself. The Hall of Fame cutting horse trainer and breeder has bobbed and weaved her way to a long and illustrious career. Training professionally, 42 years. See what I mean? See what I mean? She comes away. In 1998, Lindy and a horse named Bet Your Blue Boons competed in the National Cutting Horse Association Open World Finals. On this fateful night in Houston, Lindy and Bet would mark a score of 233, a record that would stand for 13 years. That kind of set the bar for a lot of open horses to, to match or you know be like Bet Your Blue Boons. I think that's why it's most important to me, but she was just flawless. Bet retired from the arena, but Lindy stayed focused on keeping the pressure on the competition. So now, I hopefully, we're gonna get the record back. That's why Bet's progeny populate Lindy's ranch in Texas. These are Bet's two-year-olds. This one is a highbrow cat, Philly out of Bet, and the second one is a metallic cat, Philly out of Bet. She's as smooth as a cat out of Bet Your Blue Boon, so I named her Bet She's Smooth. His name is Crimson Bet. He's a metallic cat out of Betcher Blue Boons. No, you got her. got her. She's not going anywhere. History courses through the veins of the new generation. On occasion, Lindy gets the feeling she's riding Bet again. Like this mare, I pick out traits and feelings I have riding her that I felt in her mother 20 years ago. So it's like the legacy continues. The hope of recreating a record run begins in the spring when Bet ships to the Equine Reproduction Laboratory at Colorado State University. I know that this program and certainly that mayor, Bet Your Blue Boons, is very, very special to Lindy. The ultimate success in the horse industry is the birth of a live, healthy foal that's gonna go on and do what the owner intended it to do when they dreamt about breeding that mare. A compassionate and skilled group of scientists make dreams come true. When I look back at the success I've had, the joy I've had, the fun I've had riding those colts that I wouldn't have had otherwise if CSU, ERL hadn't been there. It's just phenomenal that I've been that lucky. We've been working with Lindy and a number of breeders and the quality of horses like Bet and some of the other mares that we work with is well worth the effort to try and produce additional offspring. So our goal is to produce nice, healthy offspring from animals that wouldn't be able to, to produce them at this point on their own. Come on, pumpkin. Just as the past courses through the veins of every foal they conceive, the laboratory has a history of excellence in teaching, research, and service. And this new facility is gonna allow us to expand all of those and do a better job at everything that we do. People like Lindy benefit from all three areas, and her five-year-old mare, Stylish Bet, serves as an example of the depth and wonder of the science they conduct. So she's the, the little miracle, frozen semen from a deceased horse. And Bet, we have to do a no-site transfer on her. It took Dr. Carnivale three years, produced a filly, and this mare's now five. How many years have I been waiting for this mare? And she's phenomenal, certainly one of the best horses I've ever had. And without ERL, there's no way I would get her. This is only one example. The story can be told over and over and over again. It just is incredible how we're able to benefit the equine industry and people's lives personally. Thank you. Lindy believes in everything Colorado State has to offer the horse industry. I look at CSU as a partner because I can use them and I do use them obviously reproductively I use them orthopedically I'm going to get some interns. <laughs> the ERL is joined by CSU's other programs in equine excellence the orthopedic research center the veterinary teaching hospital and our equine science educational program. These programs serve every need of the horse and at the same time advance biomedical research that helps horses and humans. Today, we celebrate a new day for the Equine Reproduction Laboratory, a day in which we grow even stronger from our past accomplishments and recent adversity. It allowed us the chance to look back at, at who we are and what we want to do in the future, and that's be excellent at education, do outstanding innovative research, 
and provide great clinical service to horse owners. And I don't believe that we even conceived the idea at that time that we'd be able to build probably what is the finest facility in the world. I love hearing about what else you can do and in what's on the horizon. The ERL at CSU is always on the cutting edge. Like Lindy, we head off in full stride in search of new records, new frontiers, new miracles.